Nurse finds abandoned baby in hospital, then screams in horror when she lifts his blanket. Being born with a deformity is one thing, but being rejected by your mother because of those deformities is a whole other matter. Sometimes when God puts a call on your heart, you can't help but ask, am I crazy? That's exactly what pediatric nurse Amber Boyd asked herself when she felt a tug on her heart telling her to take home one of her tiny patients, an abandoned baby with a rare birth defect. Being born with a deformity is one thing, but being rejected by your mother because of those deformities is a whole other matter. That's what exactly was happening to little Gabe. He was just a few days old when he lost everything. He was born in Brazil and when he was only two days old, his mother left him at an orphanage. When the mother saw him, she was disappointed and decided to abandon him. There he was, lying alone in a hospital bed all day. Gabe's condition meant that his chance of being adopted was near nothing, but one mother would soon change everything. 19 years ago, Gabe was born in Brazil without any arms or legs. The doctors soon realized that he had a rare condition called Hanhard syndrome, characterized by underdeveloped limbs, mouth, and jaw. In Gabe's case, none of his limbs grew at all. According to the National Organization for Rare Disorders, the Hanhard syndrome is a rare birth defect with no known cause. Gabe's birth mother didn't want him, so she left him there. At the hospital, Gabe's future looked blank. He seemed destined to a lonely life confined to a hospital bed. The chances of him being adopted were very small indeed because he didn't look like all the other children at all. But one day in the United States, Janelle Adams saw Gabe's picture in a supermarket and decided she wanted to help him. Many people who passed the picture must have felt the same way, but Janelle couldn't get the toddler out of her mind. Instinctively, Janelle knew she wanted to give this child a home. Janelle and her husband, who live in Ohio, already had 13 children. Adding Gabe to the family wasn't an easy decision. We had our concerns, but I couldn't stop thinking about the sweet little boy so far away without arms and legs or a family, Janelle told Today. But finally, Janelle managed to track down the orphanage where Gabe lived and set the adoption process in motion. The adoption didn't move quickly, but after the paperwork was finished, Janelle and her husband Ron were finally able to go to the airport and pick up their long-awaited son. It was love at first sight. Gabe arrived when he was an infant and absolutely thrived with his family. From a young age, Gabe started using a wheelchair, but his parents were determined that their son would be as independent as possible. When he was 12 years old, Gabe could do almost everything other children his age could do despite his disabilities. He could dress himself, walk, eat, and swim. He could even walk upstairs without help. I can do it with a smile, says Gabe. At school, Gabe tried out for the dance team as a way of making friends, discovered he could use his limitless body to his advantage in the art of breakdancing. After graduating from high school, Gabe has continued to prove his independence, moving out of the family home and embarking on a career as a motivational speaker. The boy's parents wanted him to become independent and not need to depend on others his whole life. It has always been our goal to allow Gabe freedom and choices that we know it will only come if he can become independent, Gabe's father said. While his siblings' experience of school was more typical, proms, sports teams, and dating, for Gabe it was a daily onslaught of cruel comments and bullying. I was in the art class one time and our art teacher told us to critique our neighbor's artwork. This kid said to me, it looks like God made a mistake with you. I went home that day and I was crushed. I couldn't get it out of my head, Gabe told Barcroft TV. When the Adams family adopted Gabe, they thought they were just saving him from a lonely life in a hospital bed, but they quickly realized that it was Gabe who saved them. He's taught them about what's actually important in life, and he's taught them to work harder and never give up. I hated my parents for making me go through all that hard work, but now I look at them and celebrate that they pushed me to be independent and be the person that they knew I could be, Gabe said. From the beginning, Janelle and Ron treated Gabe as their own, and the more the boy learned to manage himself, the more independent he became. Since becoming a part of his high school dance team, Gabe has gone on to compete in a dance competition, placing second, and even appeared on The Maurice Show. And as his confidence as a dancer has grown, Gabe is now pursuing a career as a motivational speaker. I've been doing speaking for almost four years now and it's pretty crazy with all the places that I've been able to go and meet so many amazing people and hear their stories and hear how I've been able to help them, he said. Gabe is a real fighter who spreads joy to everyone he meets. This remarkable young man has become an inspiration to everyone. Gabe is now pursuing a career as a motivational speaker. The takeaway message is work with what you have and take pride in your accomplishments. I've been able to accomplish so much and I think it's funny when people say, do you wish you had prosthetics? And my answer is always no because I've already come so far in my independence without them that I wouldn't want them now and have to relearn everything just for those prosthetics. 
I like my body the way it is, and I'm proud of what it's capable of doing. Gabe Adams What is Hanhart Syndrome? Hanhart Syndrome is a rare condition that manifests at birth. It usually affects people's tongues, mouths, jaws, fingers, toes, arms, and legs. The condition varies in severity from one person to the next. Some people will be born with no arms or legs at all. The condition is extremely rare. Only one in a hundred children are affected with a disorder. Between 1932 and 1991, only 31 people were born with the Hanhart Syndrome. Hanhart Syndrome was first described in 1950. Dr. Hanhart described three different cases of aglosia with associated limb defects, and the name Hanhart Syndrome was adopted. The exact cause of Hanhart Syndrome is unknown. Cases tend to occur randomly with no apparent cause and vary from each other. Signs of Hanhart Syndrome may be identified before birth by ultrasonography, a test that creates an image of the fetus by measuring the reflection of sound waves. Pediatricians, plastic and orthopedic surgeons, dental specialists, speech pathologists, physical therapists, and others can help with the treatment of a child born with Hanhart Syndrome. It's possible that some children born with a condition will receive prosthetic limbs to replace the underdeveloped ones. People living with the syndrome can have special social support and special education. Being able to look back at all those moments and see how far I've come, as a teen, the young man used to be badly bullied by his schoolmates. A lot of times I used to cry about it and my mother had to pull me aside and she made me do this thing where every morning I had to look at myself in the mirror and give myself 10 compliments and go out into the world and give other people those compliments. He added that in spite of his parents' support, Gabe found the bullying too much and opted to change schools in his freshman year. That year was my year of really building myself back and finding who I wanted to be. And then I really told myself that I wanted to graduate with Landon and I always had dreamt about us walking in graduation together. So I told my parents that after my ninth grade I wanted to go back to public school and be with my brother and sister. Life has a funny way of escaping us which is why it's so important we regularly stop to take time to enjoy the little things and make the most of every day. But where do you start? Right here. You can usually tell how well a motivational speaker is doing by how quickly the audience pays attention, especially for how long they pay attention. Whenever Gabe Adams enters a room, he knows he has his crowd right away. He starts a speech by going across the stage and then falling down. Adams intentionally falling during his speech is part of it. Sometimes in life we fall down, but we have to decide to get back up, he says. It may sound like a gimmicky statement on paper, but in real life, Adams has no arms and legs. When he falls after hopping, the crowd usually gasps. Who thinks I should get back up, he asks the crowd. When they respond yes, Adams is able to twist his body upright and the crowd cheers.